Good day, mga TV learners. Welcome back to Tingbao TV. Good day. This is your TV teacher, Teacher Maki. Most of na mga TV learners. Hope that you are now in a convenient time and place for you to be comfortable for the new learning story. In the last session, we had able to differentiate accuracy and precision. Lagi natin kagandaan na hindi marunong dunin sa pinanggalingan ay hindi makakarating sa karunan. So let us take a glimpse of our previous topic for answering the following activity. In Knowing the activity, please follow instructions properly. Instruction number one. Prepare a sheet of paper and bold pen. Instruction number two. Choose only the letter that corresponds to the best answer and write it on your paper. And instruction number three. You are given five seconds to choose and write your answer. Are you ready, mga TV learners? I know that you are so excited. Show me a thumbs up so that we can start. Very good. And thank you for being participating. Now, here we go. Question number one. If the average of 10 value and the actual accepted value are close to each other, it is to A, precise but not accurate, it will be accurate but not precise, letter C, both precise and accurate, it will be neither precise or accurate. Your time starts now. up. Now, let us check your answer. If your answer is letter C, congratulations! Now, here we go for question number 2. If the individual obtained value have small value difference but large enough to compare with the actual and accepted value, it is to A, Precise but not accurate. Letter B. Accurate but not precise. Letter C. Both precise and accurate. Or letter D. Neither precise nor accurate. The time starts now. Time's up. Now let's check your answer. If your answer is letter A, congratulations! Question number 3. If the obtained individual values have large value difference compared to the average obtained value, but the average obtained value and the actual or accepted value are close enough, it is letter A. Precise but not accurate. It will be accurate but not precise. It will see both precise and accurate. Or it will be neither precise nor accurate. Your time starts now. Time is up. Now let us check our answer. If your answer is letter B, then congratulations! Wow, very good mga TV learners! You are really doing a great job. Now, talking about precision and accuracy, have you ever tried to measure the distance between your living room and the dining room? Or have you Try to get the time you travel from the living room going to your dining room. And are the data 
precise or accurate. But if in case you did not able to do it, maybe we will do it later. You know, mga ka TV learners, every day people and some things are constantly moving from one place to another. The motion of objects can be described by words. Even a person without a background in science or in physics has expression of words that can be used to describe moving objects. For examples of words and phrases are such as moving or stop, slowing down or speeding up, moving up or moving down, or going to the left or going to the right. All of these words and phrases give enough meaning for describing the motion of objects. But how can we demonstrate accurately these expressions? In physics, the stated expressions refer to the physical quantities, and these physical quantities are divided into two groups. It is the scalar quantity and the vector quantity. Now let us consider these instances. If I will give you an instruction to walk 3 meters from where you are located, definitely you can do it, but it takes you to think which way to go. You are going to the right or going to the left. You are going move forward or you are going to move backward. But if I will instruct you to walk 3 meters to the right from where you are located, definitely you can perform it without any doubt where to go. Definitely, you are going to move to your right. Now, which of the two instructions that is more precise or accurate? Now let us talk about scalar quantity. Scalar quantity is a quantity that has magnitude but no particular directions or fully described by a magnitude or a numerical value alone. Scalar quantities include distance, speed, time, power, and energy. And scalar quantities change when their magnitude changes. While vector quantity is a quantity that has magnitude and acts in a particular direction are fully described by both magnitude and location. And vector quantities includes displacement, velocity, acceleration, force, weight and momentum. Vector quantities change when their magnitude changes, their direction changes, or both magnitude and direction 